Uh, we've talked about compilation movies before. I'm sure you'll remember the uh, sort mm-hmm. of spliced together episodes that were put into 80s VHS sets. Yep. Uh, multiple Anderson episodes, all squished into one film. Best examples of that being uh, Super Space Theatre, all yep. done in the early 80s. But a whole decade earlier, Italian aud- audiences were enjoying compilation versions of Space 1999, The Protectors, and UFO, not all together, which were released in Italian cinemas. Oh, yes. So they, they were ahead of the curve with these um, mashup things. It's the UFO films that we're going to talk about today, Dickie. And uh, yeah. although the series had already been seen on Italian TV by the time the films were released in 73, 74, it still made sense to show it in the cinema because most of Italy was broadcasting in black and white until 1977. So a nice opportunity right. to see your favourite show in colour and in movie yeah. format. Yeah. Five whole UFO films were cut together for Italian cinemas, which sort of shows how keen the audiences were to see this uh, fantastic Anderson show in colour. Yeah. But for the first three films, they also wanted to add a little bit of extra music. Right. Sadly, though, they didn't have access to Barry Gray's original score, so they had to find something else. Right. Rather than going to some obscure library music that uh, would stick out like a sore thumb... They did the sensible thing and went with some of the most easily identifiable music in film history. As you okay. do. Uh, yes. <laughs> who was it who composed uh, the UFO music, Richard? I've, I've already given you the answer. Barry. Um, uh, Barry. Barry, uh, Barry, uh, Barry, uh, Barry. Uh, Barry. Yes, John Barry. White, Barry. That's Barry it. Blue. John uh, Barry. Yeah, that's it, yes. Uh, yes. John Barry, the, the guy who did the music for the Bond films. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. it, yeah. So, so it was Barry Gray, of course. Barry Gray, yes. It was Barry Gray. But in this case, yeah. they turned to John Barry oh, uh, I see. to use his Did music they? for these UFO compilations. Yes. So in them, we heard some music from Russia with Love, Thunderball, oh, wow. You Only Live right. Twice, <laughs> and even the main theme from On Her Majesty's Secret Service. Oh, right. Which could all be heard multiple times throughout the first three Italian UFO compilations. I can see that working, actually. I really can. I'm completely with you, actually. Yes. There's something quite quite fitting there. Yeah, there really is. But when watching them in particular, there's a, a track called 007, mm-hmm. which is not the main Bond theme, but was often heard in the Bond series whenever Sean Connery or Roger Moore were doing something daring or heroic. Okay. And that track more or less became the main title theme for those Italian UFO films. Great. And if you're wondering if they ever used any part of John Barry's scores that actually incorporated the world-famous James Bond theme itself... (laughs) Yes, they absolutely did. You're joking! And yet somehow, as you alluded to, those John Barry and Barry Gray scores really fit quite nicely. They work really well side by side. Yeah. I guess because they, you know, composers growing up, learning at the same time, yeah. sort of influenced yeah. by the same things, and all, both going for that kind of bold orchestral feel. Yeah. Now, we should point out, it's never actually been confirmed that all of this was a result of someone getting confused between the two great Barrys, sure. Gray and John. Yeah. Maybe, um, hopefully, the Italians did actually negotiate the rights to use the Bond soundtracks, hoping that uh, nobody would notice that some of the most famous movie music that had ever been composed up to the time was being used. <laughs> uh, but since John Barry's name doesn't appear on the credits, it's also quite possible that someone made a terrible mistake. Or that's incredible. They were just pulling a fast one and thought, yeah. oh, we'll get away with that, no props. I mean, that's right, obviously not how Italian people speak. But, uh, well, no, no. <laughs> uh, surely people must have noticed. I mean, they have the Bond films in Italy. Of course they do. I'm sure, but... Yeah. Maybe it was just all felt so seamless yeah. with Barry's music that it, you know, it just worked. Amazing. So it didn't yeah. stick out. I mean, you know, if they'd gone for something a bit more, um, I don't know, a bit more modern, uh, put a bit of Jaws in there perhaps, or... Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. A bit of Star Wars. A bit of Star Wars. Maybe that wouldn't have worked quite so well. <laughs> I'm really interested now about the idea of rescoring some Anderson episodes with Absolutely. some completely different music in there or a bit of can we, can... E.T. on UFO possibly yeah that's right some others do have them on Space Precinct can we uh, <laughs> can we see these anywhere can we see UFO with the uh, John Barry the Italian versions Score? yeah <laughs> I don't know Are actually on YouTube or I've got no idea possibly oh, right. I mean I'm going to look for that yeah 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 and Postrons if you know where we can see these um, yeah. uh, UFO 007 remixes let us know um, yeah be really interesting to see and hear them <laughs> 